Hello there YouTube! So in today's video it's going to be a tutorial on this makeup and hair look for graduation. This look can be used for graduation parties, graduation photos, or the day of your graduation. It can be used for anything really, but if you're interested in how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so please don't mind my sister. She's just in the back picking her ear. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, sometimes she's gonna be popping up in the back out of nowhere, but please don't mind her. <laughs> so I'm gonna be mixing these two foundations, which is the L'Oreal Infallible and the Makeup Forever. And I'm also going to add two small drops of the Maracuja Oil from Tarte and blending it out with a beauty blender. The oil is totally optional, but since the L'Oreal foundation is full coverage and finishes with a matte finish, mixing it with the Maracuja Oil can help balance it out to a luminous and dewy look. I've just been loving this finish lately, especially for the spring and summertime, but of course use a foundation that you're comfortable with and if your graduation is held outside, I prefer using a full coverage matte foundation to keep your makeup last longer by the end of the night for the photos or if you're oily and matte foundations don't really work, just bake the shit out of your face and use a finishing spray. But of course, just do whatever you want to do, girl. It's your graduation. It's your night. Do you. You got it. Congrats. 2016. Let's go. <laughs> For my under eyes, I took this Bye Bye Under Eye It Cosmetics Concealer and applied this under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my forehead, my chin. You guys already know how I highlight and conceal my face. And I just took a beauty blender just to blend it all out. I decided to use this concealer because of how thick this concealer is, but it's not a bad thick. It's just a good amount of coverage to help make your concealer last longer throughout the night, especially when your graduation is outside. But of course, you guys can use any concealer that you're very comfortable with, but let's just say that you're not really, or you don't really do well with the concealers, just apply a thin layer of concealer and then do the baking method. This method is also going to make your under eye bulletproof, it's going to make it last much longer throughout the day. So whether it's a thin concealer or thick concealer, just bake your face and it'll help the longevity of your concealer or your makeup in general last longer throughout the days. So for eyeshadow base, I'm going to be taking this LA Girl Conceal and apply this all over my lids. And I like using concealers better than an actual eyeshadow base because I feel like the concealer covers up my veins in my eyes or any redness going on. So I've been loving the whole conceal as a base type thing going on lately. And then I'm just going to be blending it out with a beauty blender. And then I'm going to set the concealer using any kind of translucent powder that closely matches to your skin tone and doing this is going to help the eyeshadows apply on much more nicely and smoothly. Now I'm taking this oldie but a goodie, the Naked 2 palette, and grab the color Tease with a Morphe G24 blending brush and apply this onto my crease and above my crease as my transition shade. But mainly focus this color on the outer corner of the eye just because we're mostly going to be applying a lot of the eyeshadows in the outer corner more than the inner corner. Now I'm taking this Morphe single eyeshadow called Private Agent and applying this all over the outer corner of the eye with a MAC 217 brush. And with the MAC 217 brush, it was a little bit too blendable, so I decided to take this Morphe E17 dome brush and pack on more of the color just to make it a little bit more pigmented. Now I'm going to take the color Foxy from the Urban 2 Urban 2 from the Naked 2 palette and apply this onto the inner corners of my eyes using any kind of flat shadow brush. And then I'm going to be taking the MAC 217 brush and blend these two colors together just so that everything's all blended out. And then I'm going to be taking this deep brown color from the Anastasia Maya Mia palette. Any kind of deep brown color is totally fine with this look. You can also use a black if you'd like. And just apply this onto the outer corners of the eyes using the most smallest amount. Doing this is just going to add a little bit more definition onto the eyes. And I'm applying this with a Morphe M506 brush. And now taking a small detailing brush, I'm going to apply the color Private Agent from Morphe and just apply this onto the lower lashes of the eyes. And then taking any kind of pencil brush, I'm going to blend this out using the color Tease from the Urban 2, I always say Urban 2, from the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. And I'm sorry for the change of lighting, it started getting dark out of nowhere, so I just brought out my ring light. And now I'm just going to be doing my eyeliner. I am using the Bobbi Brown Black Ink Eyeliner with this Bobbi Brown Eyeliner Brush. If you guys want a more in-depth tutorial of how I do my eyeliner, then just go ahead and let me know, you know? But for today's look, I just decided to do a half liner, which is not going, or not making the eyeliner go all the way to the inner corner of the eye. It's just going halfway, as you guys can see right here. I just stopped like a little bit more than halfway in the eye and this is just going to create a very nice cat like look 
And now for lashes, I'm taking these Kiss lashes in the style called Ritzy. These has been my go-to. It goes well on any eye look that I do. I absolutely love them, especially for the price. I have like two more boxes ready to be used, but for now, this is good. And then I'm taking my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer and applying this with the Tula bronzer brush. I'm just going to use this product just to lightly bronze up my face and apply this onto my cheeks, temples on my forehead, and also my nose. And now taking this ABH contour kit, I'm taking the middle shade and apply this onto my cheeks using a MAC 168 contour brush. And for blush, I'm taking this Benefit Sugar Bomb blush using the Real Techniques blush brush. And gently apply this onto the apples of my cheeks. I've been loving this blush. This has been my go-to. There's just something about Benefit blushes that I just really, really like. And now I'm going to bake my face using this Laura Mercier translucent powder that we used earlier for the under eyes. And I'm just going to use this to make sure that my contour is very sharp and clean and just ready to cut a bitch. <laughs> And then I'm going to take this Mary Luminizer from the Balm and apply this using the Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighting Brush. And now I'm going to take this IT Cosmetics Tight Lining Mascara and apply this onto the lower lashes. And then I'm going to go back with the Mary Luminizer and take this small detailing brush from Morphe. This is the Morphe E39 and apply this onto the tip of my nose and also to the inner corners of the eyes just to brighten up the look. And now I'm just going to brush off that powder and head on to the lips. So I have three lipstick choices that you guys can choose up to, but for the first one, this is Colored Rain's Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Soul. And for lip number two, this is more of a pinkier neutral. It's going to be the MAC Viva Glam 3, and I'm going to go over it with the Hoola Lip Gloss from Benefit. And for the last lip color, I'm going to be taking this NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the color Sandstorm. This is a very natural color. It's just the same as the Viva Glam, but a little bit more on the brown undertone side. And I'm just going to top it off with the Hoola Lip Gloss from Benefit. This is totally optional. You guys can keep it matte if you like. But since I'm going for more of that shiny looking lip, I just decided to add a clear lip gloss on top. But again, this is totally optional. Okay, so now onto the hair. I'm going to be taking this Tresemme heat protectant and spray this all over my hair. And then after that, I'm going to be taking any kind of hairbrush and just comb around my hair just to evenly spread out that product. Just to make sure that it's all everywhere in the hair and nothing gets left behind. And then I'm going to take my Con Air 1 inch curl iron and just start curling my hair. And there's nothing crazy about the way I curl my hair, but I'm just going to show you guys. So as you guys can see, I curled a little bit more than halfway and then I let go of that first curl and then slowly slide down that iron just to make sure that the bottom is not so curly so I'm just gonna do it again so I went halfway I'm gonna take off that first curl and then slowly pull down the rest of the hair and as you guys can see the bottom is not too curly and that's the look that we're exactly going for so doing this is basically gonna keep the roots really curly while the bottom is a little bit loose and the reason why I do that is because my hair is so flat on the top so I feel like releasing the first curl is gonna keep that curl there while the rest is kind of hanging down if that makes sense I hope that makes sense <laughs> And now I'm just going to repeat this process all over my hair and if you guys are wondering which direction I'm going, it's really I'm going inwards toward my face and then outwards so it's just back and forth. And now this is how the hair should look like. So you guys can leave it like this where it's just all put together but I kind of like to go crazy but first before I start tangling this apart I'm gonna spray some hairspray onto my hair and then I'm gonna flip my hair and add some volume 
And from here, you guys can leave it down or you guys can pin it to the side. You guys can create a braid on the side. Anything that you're comfortable with. But I just like the whole pin on the side because it looks kind of classy. But this is it to my video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Congrats to 2016 for graduating. I hope the best for you guys in the future. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!